Oh my soccer universe, if you watched my video of unpacking my latest order, you probably guessed that I will be wearing this Valencia shirt. Valencia won after all, although not in these bad boys. From what I know, they are still using at least something similar to this as a third shirt, but I haven't seen it in a while. Um, the big news at the moment, and I still have don't have more details. I'm shooting this now in the evening, uh, and you get it tomorrow in the morning where we will know more. I mean, the owners meeting of uh, Real Madrid, or the uh, owners, there's one owner, but the head honchos of uh, Real Madrid a meeting and probably will present uh, Zinedine Zidane as a new coach now. Uh, that's at least the latest news. I am curious to see how that will develop. Um, maybe let's start in La Liga with the um, collected results and maybe I will try to actually put them here somewhere. I have to see how I will do and this will post not yeah, I'm recording this on a Monday evening. I probably think this will post uh, Tuesday evening. So, yeah. Uh, we talked about already. Athletic Bilbao, Espanyol 1-1. We had Alaves, Eibar 1-1. Um, I think I saw how that was a pretty cool goal in there. Uh, Athletic Madrid, Leganes 1-0. We talked about that. Barcelona, Rayo 3-1. We also talked about that. Getafe, Huesca 2-1, where it was turned around. Celta Betis 0 1, putting Celta in trouble. Uh, Girona Valencia, we talked about this morning, 2 3. It was an exciting game, as was Levante against Le Villarreal. <laughs> the two rivals of this one here, uh, which was only decided by goals in stoppage time. A big result that I want to see highlights of still is Sevilla uh, Sociedad 5 2, 1 1 at halftime. Uh, let's quickly see who scored. Sarah, Benyeda, 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 and Oyar Sabal uh, made an own goal. Uh, 69th minute, it was 5 1. And Oyar Sabal also made the equalizer. So Benyeda uh, scored uh, three goals within 15 minutes, 4 1, and only a pal by Oyar Sabal. He was a very important figure in that game. Um, getting another one so 5-2 um maybe this means severe spec we see and then the real Valladolid, real madrid 1-4 so uh the top four remain and uh, uh, the more than top four remain unchanged we have barcelona in first place at 63 atletico 56 we soon have the clash between those two at the camp now last chance for atletico madrid uh, Real Madrid 51 points, uh, Getafe 45, that's the big surprise, Alaves also 41, Sevilla 40, and then Valencia 39, Betis 39, I think this is basically, they're the, all the teams that will compete for Europe. Um, Real Sociedad 35, Eibar 35, Espanyol 34, Athletic Bilbao 34, uh, that's between space uh, spot 9 and 13. Uh, and 12, I think those are ra rather safe, Leganes probably 2 at 33, and then 14, I think that's where the relegation zone really starts, Girona uh, with 31, Levante with 30, still sort of safe-ish, but not really, um, and then Real Valladolid 26, Villarreal 26, Celta 25, Rayo 23, Oesca 22, that's a hell of a relegation uh, zone, and yeah, Let's look at the upcoming games uh, I see here. Atletico Bilbao, Atletico Madrid is interesting because there is some shared history at the inception of those two teams. Espanyol, Sevilla, and I don't think so. Valencia, Getafe, I think now looks good. And then Betis against Barcelona, but that is overshadowed by a bigger game elsewhere. Uh, let's go to Premier League. A uh, quick run through results. I mean, most of those I already talked about on uh, Saturday or Sunday morning. Uh, Crystal Palace Brighton 1-2, Cardiff West Ham 2-0, Huddersfield Bournemouth 0-2, Leicester Fulham 3-1, um, Ranieri was, if Ranieri was the coach, it would be the Claudio Ranieri derby. Now he's at Roma, playing tonight. Um, Newcastle Everton, crazy game 3-2, uh, and yeah, Pickford had a big say in that game, I gotta say. Um, it should have been even sent off. Southampton Tottenham 2 1. That was a big uh, result for Southampton. Manchester City Watford 3 1. Um, I haven't said too much, but the first goal for 
uh, City was kind of weird. First it was offside, then suddenly it is given because the referee is talking to the linesman who has seen something more. Absolute crazy, and from that on, Watford crumbled. Liverpool Burnley, a little bit of shaky 4 2. Chelsea Wolves 1 1. And Arsenal Manchester United 2 0. Already talked about that. Which sets up the table Manchester City 74, Liverpool 73. Those are the top two. Manchester City holding, of course, the goal differential. Um, the advantage. Uh, and also direct duel. So even if they were le uh, level on points, and this would be the tie tiebreaker, Manchester City wins that one. Uh, Spurs 61, Arsenal 60, Manchester United 58, uh, and Chelsea 57. Those are the European spots, and they will not get moved, I have to say. Um, who will get in the Champions League? I mean, Spurs is in danger right now. I honestly think Arsenal will go in. I say Ar Ar Arsenal and United, although never count against Spurs. Uh, if you look at the bookies, um, they would say it is Spurs, Arsenal, Chelsea, United. So it remains to be seen. Best of the rest, Wolves 44, Watford 43. Then there's a little gap, West Ham 39. If they didn't have that horrible start to all the season, they actually could be somewhere. Leicester 38 uh, gets ahead of Everton with 37, Bournemouth 37. And then, yeah, where does it start? Probably here. Spot 13, Newcastle United 34. That's the relegation zone. Crystal Palace 33, Brighton 33. Southampton jumps out of it with 30 points. Burnley 30. And then the three down, they haven't changed, but, you know, Cardiff got a win. 28, Fulham and Huddersfield seem dead and buried at 17 and 14. There in the second English league was also a big uh, game between Aston Villa and Birmingham City. Played at Birmingham City, where um, yeah, Grealish, Jack Grealish, first gets assaulted by a fan. Absolute horrible. This fan should be put away. I guess he had too much alcohol, but still. Uh, and then he scores the winner, and he has been uh, from the youth and also a fan of Aston Villa. So gonna be interesting. I'll do a little bit more about you know maybe in a month or so we can talk again uh, what I did last week. So that is England. Um, Let's do League 1 next, because that I have, have seen least. Strasbourg Lyon 2-2, uh, we talked about that one. Amiens Nîmes 2-1, Dijon Rhin 1-1, Monaco Bordeaux 1-1, Nantes uh, PSG was postponed, Montpellier Angers 2-2, uh, Saint Etienne Lille uh, nil one That was actually uh, kind, kind, kind of a biggish game, but Lille uh, seems to be the second uh, force in France at the moment. Toulouse Gargan 1-0, Rennes Caen 3-1, and Marseille. Nice won nil, and guess who made the goal? You can guess it. Barotelli, of course, who didn't show anything for Nice this season. Horrible. Uh, and I really like, like, in parentheses, Balotelli a lot. I think he, he is, he could be an absolutely amazing player if he uh, would get over himself a little bit. But you know, uh, who is me to judge? Um, it's his life, it's his choices. I personally think he's an absolutely amazing and outstanding player. With this talent, he could be um, the world-class striker that Italy sorely, sorely needs. But they're getting. We have Chiesa already, and there are more coming. France, first place, PSG 71, <laughs> two games less. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Little 57 at 28 games. Lyon 50 at 28 games. Uh, so all of those, uh, I will say... Um, Marseille Marseille's in uh, fourth spot now, so they really uh, had a good run now. 47, Reims 43, and Saint-Étienne 43, with Reims actually ahead of them. Montpellier 42, uh, Rennes also uh, gained some spots with one game less at 40, so they could also be a 4 43, but you know, it might not be enough for um, Europa League, although there's a League Cup in France, and I don't know how that's going on. Please let me know in the comments. Um, nice, uh, Rennes won one game less, uh, Nice 40, Strasbourg 38, Nîmes also with a game less 36, Angers 35, uh, Bordeaux 33, and then we are slowly moving the relegation, so now 31, Toulouse 31, those seem still okay, I would say here it's the relegation, so Amiens 28, Monaco 27, it's still a gap, because Dijon 21, Caen 20, and Guingamp 19. Um, Germany. I want to keep Serie A. I 
you know, Sierra Leone is my favorite league. I want to keep it for last. And then we'll look at uh, just a quick others. Uh, we had the big result where Bremen Schalke 4 2 and the even bigger one, uh, Bayern Wolfsburg 6 0. Dortmund only 3 1 against Stuttgart, and we know that Bayern is now ahead. Leipzig only matches nearly against Augsburg, Freiburg 2 1 against Hertha, and uh, Gladbach gets a very lucky 1 0 win at Mainz. Yesterday's games, Hoffenheim 2-1 against Nürnberg, that was to be expected, and Leverkusen 3-2 at Hannover was also expected. We have tonight uh, Düsseldorf against Frankfurt. I, uh, about that, that, that result, maybe you can read it here, and I will insert it here. Uh, so at the moment, we have Bayern 57, Dortmund 57, and only 25 games played. Leipzig 46, Gladbach 46, Leverkusen 42. Frankfurt 40, but, you know, with a uh, win, they could go in fifth spot again. Wolfsburg 39, Hoffenheim 37. Um, Werder, I don't, Werder, I think, will, will have it hard. Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim, I still think they could make it in the European business, but uh, it's not a easy task. Werder, although one place less, I don't quite see it. And Hertha 35 also, but those are the outside chances. And then I think relegation zone. Sort of start. Nah, there's three teams that go nowhere. That's Düsseldorf, Freiburg, and Mainz. Uh, Düsseldorf, 31 points. 30, 30 for the other two. Schalke, that's where it starts. 23, Augsburg, 22, Stuttgart, 19, Hannover, 14, and Nürnberg, 13. Hannover, Nürnberg, I think, will be the two relegated teams, and Stuttgart has to make a relegation playoff. Then, last big league, and then we'll uh, look around quickly at a few others. Italy, uh, Juve gets a 4-1 win uh, with a reserve squad. Parma 1-0 against Genoa, Kievo, Milan 1-2. Everyone's talking about how great Milan, every, everything is working. Um, I don't quite see it that way. It's still hard, hard work for them. Uh, so I'm not quite yet 100% convinced of Milan, but I'm very happy with the run of results. Bologna, Cagliari 2-0, that's a big result. Sampdoria, Atalanta 1-2. And yes, the, it was... Um, the jerseys that Sampdoria were wearing, I uh, wondered this morning, was the 120th birthday of uh, U.S. San Pierre d'Arenze. I hope I got that right. One of the two founding clubs and the other one is Andrea Doria. It really was like the ship that sunk. Uh, Inter Tunnelli over Spal, Frosinone Torino 1-2, Sassuolo Napoli surprise 1-1 one, one, and Fiorentina Lazio also 1-1. One, one. Kind of lucky for Fiorentina, which sets up the table. You with 75, far ahead, similar to PSG. Napoli 57, Milan 51. It's only six points now. Is there a second spot in there for Milan? I personally have my doubts, but the one thing I have to give Milan this year is they are really hard to beat. There are only four losses, and those are against Juve, against Napoli, against Inter, and the freak one against Fiorentina. Yes, they dropped a lot, a lot of points at smaller teams too, but um, those losses are respectable, I would say. So, yeah. Milan 51 into 50, and we have the Derby uh, coming uh, Sunday evening. Uh, Roma plays tonight. 44 could go to 47, but uh, there is already some distance. Torino 44, uh, Atalanta 44. And Lazio 42 with also a game in hand, so uh, Lazio could have potentially 45 points. So this is kind of the European spot. I think Sampdoria and Fiorentina are sort of out of it. Uh, Parma with 39 and 37, Parma 33, Sassuolo 32, Genoa 30. And then I think it's the relegation zone. Cagliari starts at spot 14. 27, Udine 25, Spal 23, uh, Empoli 22, Bologna 21, Frosinone 17, and Kievo 10. Uh, yeah, Bologna has a chance. They have a fire, fire fighting chance to get out of there. I don't think this the same is true for Frosinone and Kievo. Uh, but, you know, we have seen Crot the Crotone miracle and other things happening. Uh, when we talk about other leagues, uh, I think... After the Ajax success, we need to look at the Dutch league, where I missed one important detail when I called Ajax out of the race, that they have a game less because it was postponed. And so Ajax won 4-0 against Sittard. Um, Feyenoord played 1-1 at Arnhem. That puts them basically out of the proceedings. And Eindhoven 2-0 at Breda. Uh, so PSV has 64 but with one game more, and Ajax has 59, that's possibly 62, so there's a two-point difference, and if Ajax wins against PSV, 
that flips it. But you know, Ajax had some freak losses this season and Eindhoven only one loss so far. Uh, Feyenoord with 45-7 is out of it, but they have a huge um, European zone. Alkma 44, Vitesse 40, Utrecht 37 and uh, Almelo, Heracles uh, 36. So that's where it's going. I also saw that in Greece things are going really well for Pauk. So yeah, it's all exciting. And in Austria, um, I just gotta say it. Um, two teams had, uh, you know, the first two teams, Salzburg and Lusk, my team, <laughs> uh, are safely through to this championship round of the top six teams. Um, and the next two teams, Austria and St. Pölten, lost and still qualified. It's a snail's race for this uh, final spot, and the Rapid Vienna is probably not in the championship round, which is a huge, huge, huge upset. But due to the league mode, it might not be the worst thing because there's a, two, a playoff where the winner of the qualification or relegation round gets a home match against the fifth place team. And then the winner plays the fourth place team for the final spot. Weird mode. I find it ridiculous, but that's how it goes. Uh, yeah. Let me know what league I should talk about uh, next. Let's maybe check also Portugal, because that was also an uh, interesting league where we had the big clash last time around. Uh, and we have Porto going on. So, yeah, I quickly want to check that. Uh, Boavista Sporting 1-2. That's an interesting result. And then where do we have Porto wins 2-1 of Firenze. And, yeah, Benfica is playing tonight. Gonna see about that. So at the moment, Porto is one point ahead of Benfica, but Benfica still has to win against Belenenses, which, yeah, they should do. Belenenses is 7th with 36 points. Again, let me know what you think uh, about where things are, uh, whether you want to see more um, different leagues, or, you know, just drop a comment below. Uh, I know I'm rattling off the results and give you my uh, where I think things go, and maybe I can get the. Um, Standings here that it's a little bit easy, easy to follow. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and some more of these. And you know, I will put maybe some Monday night results uh, down there. Otherwise, I'll make an add on. And yeah, with that, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.